November 2015 was uh, when we were informed that the uh, program was going to be being phased out and we weren't going to be taking any uh, incoming freshmen. And, um, you know, at that time, we informed uh, all the students that we had in the program that um, they didn't have anything to worry about because they were going to be able to, uh, you know, finish their education in the carpentry program at Grasso and graduate at Gras through Grasso. And then, you know, last year there seemed to be, uh, you know, some kind of push to try to wrap up the program a year early. And um, they transferred uh, the majority of the students um, out to other places, um, mainly within the school. And um, Joe is the, uh, he's kind of the sole survivor. Sole survivor. He doesn't have an option to uh, continue the program at Grasso next year. So they have to, we've had to come up with some alter alternative plans for Joe. Well, my mom first introduced me to Grasso, which then I started going to summer school here. And I always, always took carpentry as the summer school and I really liked it. I've just always liked building. Like when I was young, I always was building. So I thought I would like it as a career. So went to high school to take it. I was kind of surprised it was closing because carpentry is kind of, you need it. Like they, we build houses and then when we build the houses, electricians can come in along with plumbing. I'm just, it was a surprise. If there's, if there's no, uh, if there's no structures, uh, kind of limits what the other trades have the ability to do. The general philosophy of the program from, from my end is try to, uh, try to create, uh, you know, a community citizen that's going to be able to function in society, right? That's what I'm trying to do. You know, we take the kids out, we put them to work. They know what it's like to have a supervisor. They uh, they know what it's like to put in the day's work. Uh, they know what it's like to do something that's uncomfortable. And um, you know, I'm trying to prepare the student to graduate and go to the workforce. There was some talk about regionalizing some of the uh, programs, and and carpentry is in all 17 trade schools. So this would if this uh, were to follow through, we'll be the only uh, trade school in the state that doesn't offer carpentry. You talk to anybody about, you know, doing away with a carpentry program in a trade school, they all look at you like, what, what are they talking about? In fact, they asked me for a, uh, they asked me for a yearbook quote. You know, they, they put a picture of the instructor and a bunch of pictures of all the kids and then they wanted, they wanted a quote from the instructor. And my initial quote was, uh, who would close down a carpentry shop at a trade school? So needless to say, that got cut from the yearbook. It's a field that you can't export. You know, you, you can't export. This is New England. There's, there's a lot of old houses that are gonna be around here a long time. There's a lot of work in remodeling. Uh, new construction's picking back up. You know, when this, when this decision was made, um, you know, the economy had been pretty flat for quite a while. And uh, you know, I went a couple years without the phone ringing in the spring looking for graduates. Well, that, that's not the case right now. I don't have enough. I don't have enough graduates that don't have a plan to to fill the requests that I have.